If you still struggle to get clean and crispy color grades, this video is perfect for you. I film cars for a living and this is how I color grade these Lamborghini car shots. And I'm here to make color grading simple and fun again. We are in DaVinci Resolve in the color tab and we are going to open the gallery power grade and here is my custom power grade. I'm gonna just drop it in. If you want this power grade, link in description. You can simply drop it in right here and then we drop it into the notes section and we can close the gallery. This looks terrible. Let me show you how it's done. I'm gonna start with the white balance effects and I'm going to drag the Kelvin slider to the left to make it colder. If you drag it to the right, you will make your image warmer. But for this time, we want to have this cold blue look. So let's set it to 4,100. Also do note that these shots were shot at 4000 Kelvin in my camera. Then we are going over to the exposure note. I'm gonna first just reset the gamma right here. Then I'm going to the HDR and then to the global exposure slider. And we want to bring up the exposure to somewhere around, let's say 1.75. So we have back most of our information. So now let's bring back some punch into the green of this Lamborghini. So we go to the car note, we go to the color slicer, and then we check green. So let's start with bringing up the saturation from the green to, let's say, about 1.7 ish. And then the hue slider, let's slightly bring it down just a little bit to somewhere about minus 0 0.1. This already looks better. Then let's check the vignette and I am going to make it smaller. I'm gonna put it over the car. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna smoothen it out. So usually what I do to double check if my vignette is not too strong or it's positioned well, I turn off the window here. I make my image pretty small and then I try to see if I actually see the vignette. And if you actually see it too much, if you clearly see the vignette, then it's probably too strong and you might want to make it bigger or you might want to soften it out. But in this case, it actually looks pretty good. You can always reposition it. You can make it bigger so the vignette is softer and you can soften it out with the orange dot right here. But I'm gonna actually leave it like this. This looks good for me. And now if we want to have the vignette to follow the car, then we are going to the tracker. We track back and forth and this way, the vignette will appear nicely on the car. So this looks good for me. Then we go over to the gradient node, which will darken the bottom part of the image. And usually for cars, we have some empty space. And then this gradient does a good job for drawing more attention towards the car. So you can also reposition the gradient here and you can make it softer. But for this time, I'm gonna just Keep it like this. This looks good. And we are also going to track back and forth. And this way the gradient will come in nicely when the car is being revealed. So this looks perfect for me. Now if we zoom in into our image, we see a lot of noise happening here, but we can easily get rid of this using Da Vinci's denoiser. So I'm gonna toggle on the denoise node here. I'm gonna select it. And that will get rid of most of the noise. Although if we want to even increase the noise reduction, we go to the motion effects here and we can always go to spatial noise reduction. Let's set it to faster. And then I'm gonna set it to, let's say to around 20. And the difference here is just huge. Do note that the denoise function is only available for people who have the studio version. If you have the free version, you cannot use the denoise function or you have to toggle it off just like this. All the rest is available in the free version. And because the denoiser can reduce some detail here and there, we just simply turn on the sharpness node and that will bring back some sharpness to our image. Make sure that your blacks node is turned on because this will make your blacks actually black instead of blue by desaturating the blacks. And if you want to know how I color graded these Lamborghini car clips with this popular glow effect using the same node tree, watch this video next.